It's your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. And uh, first off, big shout out to Indian Sports Media. Um, this dude is amazing. I definitely recommend y'all going over to his channel and subscribing to him. He's bringing some different type of videos to the track and field conversation here on YouTube as well. He's bringing in data, which I really like, um, uh, to back up his statements and, and points and I like that this this video that he did on the top eight most viewed sprinters from uh, Oregon 2022 was just amazing he did another video talking about how Otto Bolden Otto Bolden talked about ways to improve the sport of track and field as far as uh, getting it out there a little bit more past you know just Olympics world championships and stuff, that type of stuff very good videos man so I definitely suggest y'all subscribe to him man because uh, I'm like I'm loving his channel already, man, and it's 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 some really good stuff on there. And the video that I'm about to talk about right now, he made a whole video on it. I think I'm going to link this in my comments uh, in my description box. So if you guys want to see the full video, definitely check it out after this video. Um, he basically breaks down all of the sprinters. I'm just going to break down Abby Steiner in this video and really back up what I'm saying in my last few videos about Abby Steiner being that bitch that's helping the whole track and field scene so uh shout out to my man adn sports and these screenshots come from that video so uh credit it to him but uh in this in this, in this photo you can see right here uh this 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 stat thing you can see that abby steiner is clearly from social media perspective so he did like a uh i think like youtube he put together like youtube and i think some other social media uh some other social media platforms and he put a he put together a pretty unique data thing that says abby steiner actually has 10 million views from this past month uh and abby steiner is way above Cindy mclaughlin and this is a little back to my conversation because i had a few of you guys i didn't really disagree with you guys but a few of you guys was like that you thought Cindy McLaughlin was at the top and I was like there's a reason why I said she's not at the top because this video actually kind of backs it up so you can see in, in the bar graph here that Abby Steiner has 10 million views in the past month and then Cindy McLaughlin is down to six but she is the second most so she's still in that face of U.S. track and field discussion and she and I think she is right now but at the same time I think Abby will be the undisputed face of u.s track and field like i just think that all she needs to do is just prove it on the field next year and it's a wrap but she's clearly a lot more popular than sydney mclaughlin right now um 
and you can see it. And she's actually doubled the amount of views of Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Sharika Jackson is nowhere near. This is what I say, what I say too about the Jamaicans, as popular as they are and as legendary as they are, they just haven't reached the heights that an American, a unique American sprinter can 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 attract to the sport. You know, uh, they just don't have it. And you can see here too, Shakari Richardson has fallen off quite a bit. I think Shakari Richardson was probably way up there before. She was probably a lot. She was probably ahead of Cindy McLaughlin this time last year because she was definitely a hotter name. She's fallen off in the last few months because she don't come to work no more. So. People don't really give a, give a damn about her. My, my Even my views, every time I talked about Shakari Richardson, like the last two or three times, the videos did about a thousand, but I don't get I don't get that much, you know, from Shakari Richardson anymore. So that's why I don't even really cover her like I used to. Uh, only cover her when there's some type of big news or she is going to race. That's the only time. And then Femke Bowl uh, seems to be more... Um, more popular than a thing mo i mean yeah than a thing mo too so you see no allows he's the only male and this is why i was talking about with the female the females are more popular than the males right now i do think arian knight would event will eventually be way up here maybe matthew bowling too next year uh but they, they're going to need more successful on the track and allison felix was the face for u.s track and field part for the last 15 years um and she's just retiring so she's just starting to fall off right now but you can see here that Abby Steiner is what's bringing people into track and field. And for anybody that was doubting what I was saying, this pretty much proves it right here. And that's why I'm making this video to back up my damn point. So in this screenshot here, you can see how crazy her numbers are in the splits. So most of her views are coming from the NBC Sports videos. I think one of her relay races has hit over 3 million views at this point. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me do something here. Let me pull up the NBC Sports page and see what her uh, her relay races have done. Because the last time I checked, I know for sure she was, one of them had hit over 3 million views. So let's see, let's go. So here we are guys, we're here on the NBC Sports page. I had already scrolled down to the Sydney McLaughlin video that I wanted to show you guys to prove my point. So Sydney McLaughlin, you can see this video had 2.1 million views. That is awesome. That was 12 days ago, so it's gotten that in less than two weeks. And that was higher than the Sharika Jackson video, where she um, got the 200 meters second fastest time at 21.46. That was 1.4 million. So, Cindy McLaughlin, obviously, because it was an American as well, that kind of helped the, uh, you know, Cindy McLaughlin probably beat Sharika Jackson. Because uh, if American, and if an American had done that, that's probably like 4 million views easily. So, um, but yeah, and I remember this video from Sydney McLaughlin. I don't remember it being at 1 million before the 4 by 400 race, but I could be wrong. I don't have access to NBC's analytics, so only they do, so I can't really prove that, but it is what it is. So let's go to the 4 by 100 the night after. And you guys can see the biggest video of the World Championships was this one. It was obviously the big upset victory from the United States in the 4 by 100 over Jamaica. That video has 3.7 million views. I'm doing this video um, like right after like wee hours in the morning of Friday, August 5th. So like Thursday, August 4th slash Friday, August 5th. Like that's when I'm doing this video. And this video has the most views. It's got almost 4 million. It's at 3.7 million. And that is by far, by far the biggest video. That is the first real Abby Steiner video. Like, that is like where she made her mark on, on these worlds right here. Then, and that was more than the guys race when Canada upset the U.S., which didn't never reach 1 million. <laughs> so, that tells you right there. We just saw three videos featuring three female track athletes. And this male video hasn't reached 1 million views yet, so... That's why I said the females are hitting the men right now in this sport. Now, let's go to the 4 by 400 So, we're going to go up a little bit. This is the uh, at thing about Keely Hodgkinson race. This is very good for the 800 meters, man. This is almost 800K. Uh, another example of how the females are just storming right now. But it also approved, it also is really good for 800 meters, but it tells you that a thing mode is not where Abby Steiner and Sydney McLaughlin is right now.
because this video isn't at over a million or close to two million where it should be um if a thing mode was supposed to be that popular so i'm just making a point about that now this is the 4x400 leg this one was not an upset in victory so i didn't get as many views but it's at right at 3 million and 2.9 million another great result 2.9 million so you can see both of abby signer's races if you put that in the calculator right now she in just those two races alone she's giving nbc sports 6.6 million views between those two videos alone 6.6 million guys those are like olympic numbers those are olympic numbers bro you don't usually see that for the sport around this time of year like you just i mean in a non-olympic year you just don't you just don't and this is proving my point guys like that is insane now the guys you know I, you know i was telling y'all now the guys had 1.6 million here but it was probably because it was a u.s win and it was a historical win for the guys in the 4x400 michael norman obviously he was a huge story in this he's had a huge weekend um but it just tells you a lot about what's going on here when you see these types of views here on youtube man you can always use this kind of data to really tell a story but i just wanted to show y'all that man because that was absolutely nut. but uh you guys can see what was going on here what i was talking about the sharika jackson race had 1.4 million so not even close to what sydney mclaughlin got for her race so it just kind of proves a lot of things guys that um abby steiner is the, the 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 drill sergeant when it comes to all of this look uh, most of her views, like I said, it came from NBC Sports. Um, and you know what? I'm glad in the, in the end did this when he did because that means that video, I believe the Jamaican one, the 4x4, four four, the 4x100 four one was this one right here, the 2700 one, and I believe the 4x400 four was 22. All right. I believe that one was 22. And I think these other ones are from her nationals or, or whatever. And then you can see like the, the other top tracks channels on YouTube and um in their numbers so the only thing that abby probably needs to improve on a little bit is a little bit more coverage on the social media side and that's going to come because like i've been telling y'all before is that abby steiner can still kind of blend in a lot of her uh popularity into social media especially by the time she gets to if she can do very well on the pro scene next year and then bring that momentum have a good trials, get to the Olympics. That's where Abby is really going to shine is in 2024. When we get to 2024, all of this is a wrap. All of this is a wrap. She will be more visibly known, especially overseas. And it, 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 it's going to be a wrap, guys. So this is just the beginning of her popularity, man. She is doing very well. I've never, I, I, bro, I still haven't really seen a rookie come in in my lifetime since I've been covering track or since I've been watching track. I've been watching track since uh, the 1996 Olympics. And I don't think I've ever seen a rookie come in and make this type of noise in the sport. I, I just, I haven't. Like when, like when Usain came in, it took him a little while. He, he's, he was more like area night and he was still getting discovered about. Once he got into his prime in the 2008 Olympics, it was a wrap from there for all you saying. But Abby is doing all of this as a rookie. And she's still going to be a rookie next year because the next year is going to be her first full pro season. She's doing absolutely amazing, man. But, uh... So, I'm going to need y'all to really go on ahead and hit that like button for me. Definitely hit that like button for your boy. Definitely hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. And if you um, got any comments, like I said before, if y'all y'all know I love to read y'all comments, so definitely put those down as well. Sometimes I don't even got to remind y'all. Y'all do it anyways. Y'all being so great to me on the comments, man. By the way, I... I appreciate every single one of y'all that send down comments i don't care if it's negative or positive like i appreciate every single one of y'all man the fact that i still remind y'all because i know i got new video new viewers to my videos but man i thank y'all man and then also uh a special shout out special shout out special shout out special shout out i will be remiss if i didn't shout this guy out so i said i was gonna shout him out 
his name was David Close or David Claus. Let, let me know if I said it right. Let me know if it's Close, like C L O S E, if you pronounce it like that, or if it's like Klaus, you know. Um, let me know how you pronounce it. But David Claus, he sent a ten dollar donation uh, the other day, the other night. I appreciate that, man. And like I said, uh, the, the donations are definitely loved, man. Y'all, y'all got my love, man, for sending those donations out. You could send a two dollar, five dollar, ten dollar donation. Doesn't matter. Also, um, if it's easier for you to send a donation on the cash app, I'm about to plug in my cash app on the screen. Uh, it's also in the description box as well if you want to copy and paste it from there. But uh, you know, thank y'all, man. But if you want to use Google's and just hit the super thanks button, I much appreciate that. Now, um, what's to come on this? So I've done the hype video, so y'all got that to look. Uh, y'all, y'all, uh, I've done the hype video from Matthew Bowling and Abby Steiner. I did a video on them too. Y'all want to check out all those if you haven't. Um, now, what's to come? So sometime coming up, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna go back and. Um, uh, there's another channel on YouTube that went over Abby's historical 9.86 and the 4 by 100 relay. We're going to talk about that again. Um, we're going to talk about Abby Steiner's competitiveness in a different video. Um, and we're going to talk about a few other things. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep covering Abby Steiner until her first race next season. So this is definitely the spot for you to be here. And remember to subscribe to Indian Sports, man. I swear. You gotta, you gotta subscribe to this channel. He's making some great content, man. Great content. Shout out to Indian Sports Media, by the way. I really appreciate um, uh, Rebe uh, talking back and forth in the conversation this past week. So I definitely want to shout him out whenever I can, man. But um, that's what's on the way, y'all. And I uh, just want to thank y'all for watching this video. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching. After news.